Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the Curly Hair Seminar. My name is Curly Daisy and we're back with the Mars family. So we have Callie here. She's just working on her second children's novel. This one is going to be called, not second, fourth actually. And this one is going to be called Kinsley's Songbird. It's a book about a girl who is taught how to sing by a songbird. And yeah, we're just she's just about done with it. Okay, so while she finishes up that part, I am going to go ahead and check on the rest of the family, see what they're doing. Naveen has been glitching this entire part. This entire part is filled with bugs. Valentine's Day does not go as planned at all, and but we're here for it. It's recorded. We're going to have fun with it, and I'm going to show you guys what happened during my gameplay. So for, the, for a period of time, it was like Naveen was unable to take care of the babies. Like no matter what I told him to do, he would get up like he was about to do it. And then he would just sit back down and not restart him, reset him over and over and over again in the babies. And it just wasn't working. Even if I had him try to do something else or go into another room, it just wasn't working. But that's not there here nor there. Um, Callie is done with the book, which is amazing. So she can take care of the babies. But, no, I'm not even on Kelly right now. I'm on Candy. And it's truly only Naveen that this is happening with, that he's not able to take care of the babies. And later on, it just stops happening. Like, he's now able to fully take care of the babies. I didn't do anything differently that I can think of. Callie is able to do the super efficient baby care, so she's able to get the babies together rather quickly, which is good. Only thing about that is you can only do it once within so many hours, so we can't like do it with both twins back to back. Okay, so it's officially love day. And Cat Callie is helping Khalees um, practice walking, practice standing. She has not hit that milestone or the crawling one yet. Uh, meanwhile, K Kinsley has not even hit her creep milestone yet. She's able to stand already. She went. Sh K Kinsley basically went straight to walking. We could say because. She can't even creep along to learn how to crawl yet. So she can't even practice crawling yet. She's able to stand already. As you saw in the intro of that video, which was so stinking cute. And I was surprised. I only had her practice standing once and she hit it. Amazing. Anyway, I am thinking about making some heart shaped waffles for breakfast this morning because it is Valentine's day, but I was, at first I thought you had to be in a flirty mood to be able to make them, so I was trying to get her flirty, but then I realized you had to actually have the active ingredients to make it, so that is a pro tip. I'm going to go ahead and evolve these plants. I don't know how they're able to evolve. We haven't done no kind of plant care for these plants, but yet they're flourishing. going to have Naveen go ahead and pick some daisies so that he can gift 
Kelly some flowers first thing this morning before he goes to work. He does have to go to work from 1 to 8 p.m. So in my mind, I said, okay, well, they can go to dinner or to a lounge or to a club after he gets off. I'll just cheat his needs and they can, you know, have a romantic night. But we will see how that turns out. <laughs> and at some point during the closet renovation that I did last part, I must have blocked the toilet, messed up the toilet, whatever. But they're unable to use that bathroom. So I am just going to go ahead and sell that toilet and extend the closet just for now and then when we do the bathroom makeup makeover we'll make sure they have a fully functioning bathroom but for now the mars are not going to have a toilet in their bathroom but you know we'll fix it we're still in the beginning stages well not really but you know what i mean they're still getting their house together it's a fixer up okay so let's go ahead and make sure naveen gives this these flowers to kelly I wish I know that there's a way you could give a single rose. I wish I could figure out where it is. I, it just doesn't pop up for me anymore. I don't know. I'm also wondering what is, what was, what is Candy doing over there with that blender? Is she playing with it? Guess we'll never really know she's going off to she's going off to school they both are and I hope they have a wonderful wonderful love day all right so if Naveen could just give this gift to Kelly she likes it. Of course she does. It's love day. Everybody wants flowers on love day. <laughs> let's just do a little romantic interactions. Let's have, let's have them kiss. And just, you know, just to be romantic. Kelly, it's too early to start drinking. You get some drinks tonight very realistic way to spend lovey day <laughs> trying to get a little affection in right while your baby is violently staring at you Chima. i did think <laughs> since they were in a good mood and happy that maybe it would be a good time for kelly to mention the idea of adopting a child to me and just to see what he would think and see what his reaction might be and let's see what he says Shoe. Says Kelly asked Naveen whether he would agree to adopting a child, and Kelly wants to look at the adoption pr procedures to expand the family. And I think he's going to say, Why not? The more the merrier. So, there you have it, folks. The yes. next Mars family member will be acquired through <laughs> adoption. And we're going to go through that whole process, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I've, I've been eyeing a couple of nods. That should make the process a little bit more fun, but we will see when we get there. That's not going to be for another couple of parts, but I thought I'd at least let you guys in on that little, how I was feeling about that. So now that I have Kelly in a flirty mood, I tried to go make the waffles and it wasn't letting me. So I realized that I must have to have a pomegranate to be able to make this. So... I could I had two options I could have ordered it from the refrigerator but then I knew we would have to wait for the delivery guy which could take you know a lot of sim hours or I could just um, buy the ravishing little credit card to where it'll instantly pop up in your inventory so I guess you can guess which choice I went with obviously I wanted the quicker easier option just for time's sake I mean yes the ordering groceries on the phone is more realistic but love day was is flying by Naveen's about to go to work at one and I really wanted her to have these waffles done before he goes to work all right so I got the ravishing card llama card out of buy mode and I just placed it between the other two cook mods because I just feel like it just made sense there and um, we're gonna go to the gardening no 
preparation and ingredient ingredients the fruits and vegetables and obviously we're going to be looking for a pomegranate I think I just passed it mm -hmm. already just one 150 for one pomegranate is insane but this is simoleon so I guess we'll let them have it and since we have the pomegranate now we can finally make some flirty heart waffles for Naveen before he goes to work just to be cute and sweet I want to try to make their love day as cute as it can be considering they have four children to take care of I swear that cat love loves careful. that Zumba Roomba he is always You're sitting sure. on top of it <laughs> and while she makes the waffles I want to see if I can get Naveen to take care of baby girl and I absolutely cannot great <laughs> wow speaking of baby girl I'm showing you guys that okay so she just learned how to creep I swear she at the beginning of recording she couldn't even creep but she already learned how to stand I think last part I was asking why can't I get her to practice crawling that was why because she didn't learn how to creep yet but now she can Oh no, I chose the wrong one. Dang it. It was asking if he should give out basically Valentine's to the whole class or just one person. And I chose whole class. And now Callie has one. And should she give out Valentine's or, day, Valentine's or keep it to herself? I'm going to choose to give it out as well. And let's see what she has. She has a better outcome. So Candy's pop-up says, after school, Candy spotted a sad girl sitting on a bench. She walked over and extended the bouquet of tissue paper flowers. Pun seemed to give her face lit up and she gave Candy the biggest hug ever. The teacher was right. It was rewarding to make someone feel special on love day. Nicholas decided to surprise the entire Mama. class with flowers. Unfortunately, he forgot to sign the cards. When the flowers were delivered, another kid took credit. What a crummy love day. If that isn't so... I swear... Sometimes this game just gets it right because I feel like this is very on brand for their personality types. Like Candy is bubbly, personable, probably popular, so she would have a better reception to giving out, you know, Valentine's. Whereas Nick Klaus is a kind of a try hard. He try hard, tries hard to make friends. He doesn't always and this is a uh, example of him trying hard really hard to make friends and it's just not going his way once again but it's all right because nick klaus is going to is going to look upwards i'm going to give klaus nick klaus a little shine this part and we're going to hang out with him after school because I, I think he has a little love day crush in mind that he would like to give a gift to follow in his father's footsteps and give a flower out himself but let's go ahead and get this little breakfast brunch situation going let's go have Naveen and Callie come over here and steady sit so they can eat their heart-shaped waffles together and be cute and while they're sitting here I just like them to continue the conversation they had about you know adopting a child and just love day and how they're going to spend the day uh -huh. when he gets home and don't be late from work because we got plans huh. And they're, they're just having a little chat before he goes to work <laughs> and enjoying the good, delicious, heart-shaped waffles. I don't know how I feel about prom pomegranate oh. inside of a waffle. Uh, well, a now, you. some red velvet waffles for Love Day would have been a hit. Hey, they have some, there's this place oh, tell a Jim uh -huh. in Georgia called Another Broken Egg. They have a couple of them in Florida as well. But uh, they have some bomb red velvet waffles. Powerful, uh, so if you have one near you, bay. try it out. And it's pretty an expensive place. Not sponsored, oh, by the way. Not sponsored. Huh. I'm just a girl who appreciates a good oh, waffle. Let me ask y'all this. Are y'all are waffle people or pancakes people? Because everybody who's anybody knows that waffles are over the superior breakfast of choice. Especially when you're putting them up against pancakes. 
waffles just hold the syrup better they can be soft or as crunchy as you want them to be and they still taste good if you get a crunchy pancake you're gonna throw that out the window <laughs> also pancakes just soak in the syrup and you end up needing way more syrup because they're so dry that was a special rant dedicated especially to my fiance who continues to argue with me that pancakes are the better and we both know it's waffles anyway rant over it's time for Naveen to go to work so Callie's gonna be home taking care of the babies all by her lonesome but they are both sleeping at the moment so I'm gonna go ahead and let her come over to the exercise bike and get another workout in this will be her first workout of the day and I've been trying to get her to eat better obviously she ate waffles today and she might eat something not great tonight as well but because it's love day but I have been having them eat salads and seafood and I've been having them drink these protein shakes for breakfast so hopefully Callie will, will hit her New Year's resolution but I don't think I don't know I don't feel like her or Naveen is going to hit it because they only have like one day left to hit it. And while I feel like Kelly has made significant change, I don't think the game recognizes it. So here I was just putting the books into the keepsake box and then I realized I got all this other stuff in there. I don't even know why all this stuff is in here, who's been putting it in there, but I'm definitely going to take it out. like. Uh, it's mostly just a bunch of taller toys and infant toys and a couple of taller books the only thing that's supposed to be in here are the books that Callie is making I also think I'm going to add I think they updated the keepsake box to where you can add photos to them because I do want to add a photo of uh, the Mars family all together once we adopt the fifth child I want it to be in here I want it to be capsulated so that when we get back to generation 12 we can just have that memory hopefully if it survives 12 generations I think the children's book how cute would it be to read the children's book Callie's children's books to the babies during generation 12 I think that'll be so cute. I don't know what we're going to do for the next generation. I guess it depends on the person. Like, what's going to be the keepsake? Because I feel like the keepsake should be dependent on the sim of, the, of that lineage. Like, if they like to paint, it can be paintings. If they like to take photos, it can be photos. If, it, if they like to collect stuff, it can be collections. I don't know. But I just feel like each generation should have something to represent each child. I don't know. Uh, of course I chose the wrong thing. I've been choosing the wrong thing a lot lately. And he got a large performance loss. And my baby is awake. Kelly, we need to get on that. And this baby needs a diaper change. What do you need? Everything. Okay, so maybe we can go ahead and do some super efficient baby care. All right, so let's do this super efficient baby infant care. Um, I would love it if it, this act, actually brought up all their needs. It really only brings up their bladder, hunger, and hygiene. Oh, oh no. Uh, bladder, hunger, and attention. So I wish it brought up the hygiene and energy and fun as well just like made the baby like super happy but I guess it hits all the core things but this baby Kinsley does not like to go to sleep and the kids are already home see this is what I'm talking about the day is just flying by because how are the kids already home okay but um I wanted to have Niklaus come out here and pick his own daisies but he can't because of because he is not doesn't have high mental skill high enough mental skill so instead I'm going to have Callie give him one of her roses that she has in her inventory and we're gonna go on a little trip with Nick Klaus and to see his crush 
All right, so Nicklaus is here at the Maze residence, and we're gonna have him knock on the door. Okay, so never mind, he actually doesn't need to knock on the door. And we definitely don't want to switch households. First, we're gonna have him go come in here, and he's met them before, but he was, I believe, he was a toddler when he met them, so he needs to reintroduce himself to Miss Lily May. Because uh, he should definitely, he's going to be a gentleman about this. He wants to do things the right way. <laughs> he don't, he think he knows something about something, but he don't. He's been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> so, first things first, he's going to introduce himself to Miss Lily May. And then he's going to come right up here and he's going to... Let's throw some love to confetti, confetti first of all. And how cute is this? She's actually playing with the toy Nicklaus gave her. So she actually really likes... That TV is so loud. What are y'all... What is he watching, girl? And then I want her him to give her her gifts. If I can find the interaction. But at the moment, I am struggling to find it. My girl got this totally spies bumping. She's <laughs> is not playing about that show. All right, so Nicholas is on our way to her room, and let's see how this goes. Cause he had a very stressful love day at school, so hopefully this goes better than that. Maybe I would say Lily is not in his class. I would say she is in the same class or grade as as Candy because she was already a kid when the class was a toddler so she's a little bit older than him but that's not gonna stop him from and today is not gonna stop him from giving out this flower currently I feel like Nicklaus is a try hard because he does not stop trying like he wants to be liked he wants to have friends and he's gonna keep trying he's more easily liked by animals and by women but he's not gonna stop trying to make friends. All right, Love Day Confetti going off. They have a good little friendship going on. I didn't realize how high their friendship got the last part. I believe it was the last part that she came over after school. I think it, I think it was. All right. Let's give a love day gift, and of course we're going to give out the flower. Not Miss Mays joining in on the the love day celebration, throwing confetti as well. And Klaus clearly put on his best. He looked at him in his hat. How could she turn down a gift? When he got this smooth hat on. Hopefully she likes it. Let's see. I think that was a good reaction. I think she liked it. And looks like he's having a great love day. I'm glad. I'm happy for him. After, you know, what happened earlier. Let's go ahead and give her a hug and say goodbye and go head on home because mom wanted us back home by eight because dad and her are going to be going out also their curfew curfew is nine anyway so definitely have to call it soon all right goodbye see you next time it was great see you i don't just realize i don't even know this little girl's name <laughs> I just know that that is Nicklaus' Nick crush, and yeah, now nah, you guys know. <laughs> Alright, so we are back home, and I'm just getting rid of that toilet, like I said I was going to earlier, and making more space in the closet, so now Callie should be able to get into the closet and get dressed in the closet, because be before, she was not able to get dressed in the closet, and I couldn't stand it, because that's spent too much time making this closet beautiful for it to be unfunctional but we got it all together 
All right, so let's test out our new closet and see if she can get to her clothes. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's have her go ahead and take a bit of a shower. I am gonna go ahead and cheat up her energy and Naveen's energy as well so that they can enjoy the night. They have a very small amount of time left in Love Day. You know what I should have did instead of trying to get them to go on a date? My original thought was have them watch Love Day, romance TV in the room, just do them, maybe eat some snacks, maybe make some ice cream. That would have been such a cute way to spend Love Day. Instead, I'm going to try to make the impossible happen and I fail. <laughs> but first, let's go ahead and get Callie in the shower. And look how cute these two are being... They're both playing quite nicely, but look how cute Kinsley is being with her Kit Kat. I believe they're about to take a nap together, which is going to be so, so, so precious. And now that Naveen is off, I'm going to have him take a shower as well. He don't really need it, but he did just got off of work and they are having a Valentine's Day date. So he needs to change, of course. I'm going to have Callie come over here and put on some of this peach lotion and then I'm gonna have her change into her day night outfit for the night I'm trying out this new hairstyle that I downloaded not too long ago and here is our girl looking also beautiful in her black dress and her hair she added some weave to her hair and has this like bubble ponytail. I think it looks so good. Pretty good for Kelly doing it herself, you know. Normally she always goes to the hair slayer, but she thought she could do, handle this one all on her own. <laughs> okay, we got the outfit, the hair, the lotion, shower. Now we need some perfume, of course. And we're going to do this YSL Black Opium. Don't know if that's a perfume or a cologne. But it's what Kelly's wearing today. And then we're going to get Naveen all dressed up in his little tux. Not little, big tux for the big one. <laughs> Look how cute these two are being. I cannot resist getting a little picture. So I'm going to <laughs> set up the camera really quick. I think this is just such a sweet, cute moment. And I know this is about love day and going on a date, but I had to capture this because this is just so, 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 so sweet. And I think it'll just be a perfect little picture to have of the, the two of them together. Kinsley has been shining this episode. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit. And I definitely want to take this photo and go ahead and put it on in our photo wall all right we got the photo up i think it looks so cute there of course i want to continue filling them up with other random little photos of our family and us you know just making it cute making this whole little room a real vibe and the blank photo shoot the blank photos are not a vibe Speaking of blank photos, I really need to have Callie and Naveen do a photo shoot so they can put have the picture to put above their bed. I really want them to do some intimate photos. Not intimate, but like just photos, just the two of them. I might do that like off camera, I don't know. Also, the twins' birthday is coming up next week and I... If you guys want to give some input on how you guys would like their birthday to be celebrated, go ahead and leave down in the comments below. As you know, with Kelly, not Kelly, with Candy, we do sleepovers. With Niklaus, he likes to do a boys' day with his dad. And so, what are we going to do for the twins? I was thinking we could either do a little party, but they are infants. And I don't know. Parties for infants seem a little crazy, but we could do it. We could also do like. Maybe just do a photo shoot day with the whole family. We could do 
like I would do a dinner or something but obviously they're infants and a dinner for infants would be crazy so like I just how do you celebrate an infant's birthday I don't know so leave some comments down below with how you guys think the Mars should celebrate Khalees and Kinsley's birthday The main reasons why things are not going according to plan because it's taking them too long to get out of the house. Like, okay, what is happening here? Put the babies in the cribs, put them to sleep, and let's go on this date. For the longest, I could not find the ask, the ask on date interaction. Could not find it, could not find it. But then I finally found it. By the time they got out of the house, it was 12 a.m. So, not much time left in love day, but we gonna do it anyway. Finally found the ask on date interaction and I'm wondering why Naveen is not doing it. Um, some minutes are passing by. He's in here blocked by this bike. Why is this bike in here? I don't know. You gotta ask Candy why she put her bike right there. But clearly Candy don't want her parents to have a night to themselves. Typical children behavior, stopping their parents from getting a freak on. And just not good, just not good. Kelly done pop the bottle getting a drink started because she just feel like the night is over at this point we might as well just stay in the house but Naveen's gonna try to get her to go out anyway because they're going into the city and things do stay open a little later in the city so hopefully they can still enjoy their night hopefully okay so because it was so late I decided to take them to this lounge and I forgot that most of it was outside and that it was spring so it would probably be cold and they are now in their cold weather wear and i am annoyed because i spent so much time getting them cute but i don't want to put them in their outfits and they freeze to death so it's just like i spent all that time getting them cute for nothing they could have been left the house but we're here we're not going to complain about it we're going to have them order some fries because both of them are hungry and i also would like to get them some drinks as well Let's go ahead and grab a serving together, please. And then let's go ahead and have a seat over here. I don't know what ever happened to the order drink interaction that I clicked. But that's clearly gone. And as I'm trying to get them to go sit down, Callie's decided she wants to go eat her fries over here. It's just a mess. <laughs> It's really just a mess but we're trying to push through nonetheless trying to give them a romantic valentine's or what's left of it really valentine's is technically over it ended at midnight technically but by sim standard it ends at 2 a.m but technically it ended at midnight and naveen also decides he wants to go over there to that couch and eat his fries as well so i'm just starting to get a little aggravated and trying to push through this date nonetheless. I got them both sitting down and talking so they were able to mark off one thing off their list, want to get them flirting and just having a good time, you know, get them both in a flirty Sir, mood and Papa. hopefully we can salvage this date. Hey, buddy. As annoyed as I am that they're not in the outfits that I wanted them to be and then it's not going the way I want it to be, this is just I could have refilmed this whole part, but this is just part of playing The Sims, a very realistic part of playing The Sims that not a lot of Sims show you that they do deal with glitches just like everybody else there deal with glitches. Right now they're just pretending to get married. I don't know. That was cute. But um, not enough Sims show how, how frustrating this game can be sometimes. It's very glitchy. It freezes. It... Things don't go as planned. They don't wear what you want them to wear to the events that you want them to wear it to. The sim days goes by too, too fast. Like, a lot of things. But nonetheless, we love the game, so we keep playing it. And I fully intend to keep playing this game until... Keep playing this game until they start making updates for it. Pretty much. They still have quite a bit of time left in the date, but I think I'm ready to end it here. It is getting pretty late. They do have to get home. They do have children. And 
they had somewhat a little bit of fun. They're trying to make the most out of it. This is not exactly how either of them wanted their love day to go, but sometimes this is just how life is. But even real life just don't go exactly how you wanted to plan, but you make the most out of it. Like the two of them sitting here having a dance battle with no music and nobody at this lounge. There's nobody at this lounge pretty much but them and the bartender and one other guy but hey they're here they're making the most out of it they're having fun but let's go ahead and get them back on home so they can do one last activity before they call it a wrap so on this whole love day fiasco it's a really love day without a little woohoo i don't think so meanwhile the children are up they're all up and out of their cribs out of their beds Candy is watching TV. I'm going to have her go ahead and get her some leftovers for breakfast. And then Klaus is doing whatever he do. But I'm about to make him go ahead and take care of this little hamster. Um, feed him. Clean the habitat. Show him some attention. Meanwhile, this little one is being a, a menace and wrecking. She's starting early. She literally following in her brother's footsteps. Her brother, Nick Klaus. Do y'all remember Nick Klaus used to do this? constantly as a toddler he's definitely following his her she's definitely following her big brother's footsteps and this little baby is being an angel okay so the floors are super dusty and crusty and it is saturday anyway so I, i'm gonna have i'm going to have um candy go ahead and start the vacuuming routine i'm also gonna have her oh look a little dust bunny hopefully that can get backed up vacuum right up well as well we already have one pet we don't need another one and let's also go ahead and dry this laundry Enjoy. all right so we got the mars taking care of the babies and the Klaus is over there in the tub he was playing having a good time oh what was that in that diaper that was a toy in the diaper that's cute i did get both the girls new hairstyles which i actually did not even showcase this part they had on their onesies the entire part so i definitely will show you guys that next part i am going to end this part a little early my game completely just froze actually i'll show you guys what happened okay so after Callie got Kalise, um completely scared squared away and in the crib and happy I had her go over there and start riding on the bike and what and then everything just froze everybody froze everything the cat is stuck me me meowing Callie is stuck on this bike the Klaus is stuck on the toilet everybody is just froze but not froze because they're they're still moving kind of like Callie is still riding the bike I don't know what this is about hopefully everything is fine i haven't logged back in to check if the file has been corrupted or not i heard a lot of people had a lot of problems with the last update and i'm hoping that's not happening to me so like even here i tried to delete the bike my girl is still riding it meanwhile i'm in build mode and she's still riding the bike so then I think to myself, okay, maybe it's something else. I'll try to delete the toilet. And it's just, I can't even delete it or place it down somewhere else. It won't let you place it down anywhere else but where it was supposed to be. So I've just got really frustrated. Like, I'm not going to lie. I got really frustrated. Um, I usually, sometimes when my, this happens with my game, I will restart and re-record everything. But I was already frustrated from the way the Valentine's Day was going and just, I was feeling down on myself about this part as a whole. And then this happened and it just made me feel even worse about it. So I'm not going to lie, this is not my best episode. And I do apologize for that, but I wanted to be completely transparent on Sometimes things just don't work out when you're trying to make content and I still wanted to create it and I still wanted to upload it because I feel like this is still a decent episode. We just had some things not go perfect. Like, I don't even know why that 720 just appeared. Anyway, sometimes things don't go as planned when creating content and that's okay. We just redo it. And by next part, I will have all the bugs and glitches hopefully sorted out and... 
we'll be back with the mars family thank you guys so 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 much for watching please feel free to leave a like comment or subscribe if you feel so inclined to and i'll see you guys next thursday videos with the mars every thursday be there or be square peace bye guys